take a look at this for me, please, Megan. We have reason to believe that you're involved in Jesse's murder. In your original statement, you suggested that you were home for the entirety of the 4th of October. Can you tell me where you're walking to in this image, please, Megan? Why did you originally say to us that you were home for that evening? <laughs> Again, our main concern is finding the person who's responsible for this. Now, I know you and Jesse have been friends for a long time, but you must understand the severity of this situation. Exactly. She's been my friend for 15 years. I didn't do it. What were the two of you talking about that night? I can't. Megan, I need you to cooperate with me. I didn't kill her. You have to believe me. What were the two of you talking about? We were arguing. Arguing about what? We always argue. All friends argue. We had each other's backs. We loved each other. What was this particular argument about? She was angry at me. Why? I don't know. She's been off with me the whole week. We usually get a coffee together before our morning lecture. But she hadn't texted me, so... When I went to lecture, she, she wasn't sitting where we usually sit. She wouldn't even blink at me. So one day, Jessie just decided to stop being your friend. Why? She was seeing an older lad. She kept posting photos of him on Instagram. He was at least 25. And they were in a hotel room, so I assumed they were dating. When I asked her about it, she told me to keep the nose out of it and that he was no good for her and she was going to leave him anyway. Megan, this is very crucial information for us. And he should have told us this sooner. Can you bring me up Jessie's case? Yes, apparently she was involved with an older male. Mm hmm Yeah. Yes, bring him in. Yeah, thank you. So back to that evening in question. What did she say to you? Okay. I kind of understand why she was angry at me. Maggie, you need to tell me more. When she told me that the guy was no good for her, I panicked. I wanted to tell her mum, but she's an alcoholic and she wouldn't have been able to handle it. They haven't been the same since her dad died. No one else is looking out for Jessie, just me. So I followed her to get into that guy's car and I tried to run up after them but, but they sped off. I didn't think she saw me but she texted me saying that she couldn't believe I'd followed her. Freak behaviour that, Megan. So that's the reason why she was avoiding you? Because she caught you following her? This is what the TV were arguing about. I guess. She told me she was sick and tired of me acting like her mum. She told me she... She didn't know how to be around me anymore, and she felt suffocated. So I'm gathering Jessie wanted you to back off so she could continue seeing this older male. No, no. Jessie, she wouldn't do that. We loved each other. We are like sisters. Megan, sometimes people who are vulnerable and who get themselves into dangerous situations can't think sensibly, OK? Now, is there any more information you can share with me about this older male? She made me swear. Made you swear to what, Megan? That I wouldn't tell you what, what I'm about to tell you now. She was going to run away with him. Why? She was three months pregnant to him. Talk to me. Yep. 
Yep. Yep. Bring him to custody. Thank you. Megan, we have him. <sighs> oh my god. Thank god. Thank god. <sighs> he didn't deserve her. Why you put me in this position? So fucking selfish, Jesse. After everything I've done for you, I love you. I love you too, for fuck's sake. You're like my sister. He doesn't even love you, Jesse. You don't even know him, Megan. You know nothing about him. I can't. I can't do this. I'm leaving tonight, and I'm never coming back. Walk away from me, Jesse. Jesse. What the fuck are you doing? I love you, Jackie!